Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to use the Erica Synth Black Joystick 2 to get more control over our patches and modulation. It's a very versatile module that can generate multiple channels of joystick CV but also be used as a CV recorder, sine wave and step random voltage generator. We'll start off with an overview of the features of the module and then we'll dive into some patches to utilize its many functions. There's a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. This is the Ercasynth Black Joystick 2, a bit of a Swiss army knife of CV generation. It has a night lies joystick that stays in position whenever you let go of it. In order to control something with it, you have to select one of four independent channels. You can select which channel you're controlling with the joystick by pressing one of the four channel buttons here. Or you can control multiple channels at the same time by pressing multiple channel buttons. Each channel has an X and Y output. The outputs on these jacks depend on the selected mode for that channel. Channel 3 and 4 also have a gate output. These output a high voltage whenever you move the joystick with the related channel activated. With the mode button here, you can select the mode for the current activated channel. So select the channel you like to control, press and hold the mode and then select one of the four modes, either joystick, sign, random or snoo. The module is easy to operate, but the four different modes per channel make it really flexible. So let's have a look at the four different modes. In joystick mode, the X and Y outputs generate a constant voltage based on the joystick's position. Both X and Y axes have a range of minus 5 to plus 5 volt, up and right creating positive voltages on both channels. When in joystick mode, you can use the joystick to record and loop a motion. Just press and hold the record button, move the joystick and as soon as you let go, that motion starts looping. If you move the joystick when a recorded movement is playing, the joystick overrules the recording with a bit of slew from the recorded value to the joystick position, so the change feels organic. If you stop moving, the output value is returned to the recording, again with an organic transition. If you want to clear the recording, just press and hold mode and then press the record button. Whether you use the static values of the joystick or a recorded movement, if you change the channels, the X and Y output will hold their current value. Or continue the loop motion until you activate that channel again and make some changes. And if you return to the channel you already used, you have to pick up the values with the joystick so there's no unwanted CV jumping. In sine mode, a channel becomes a sine wave generator. The X output outputs a regular sine wave and the Y output a 90 degree shifted or in other words, inverted version. With the joystick, you can control the sine wave it generates. The X axis determines the frequency and the Y axis the amplitude. Also in this mode, you can use the record function to record movement in frequency and amplitude and have that movement looped. Both sine and random mode have an audio rate variation. To access these, hold the mode button and press and hold the button for the channel you like to be in audio rate mode. This is especially good for audio rate modulation, but can also be used to create drones. In random mode, a channel becomes a step random voltage generator. 
The X and Y outputs each generate a unique random voltage and again, with the joystick you can control both the frequency and amplitude of the signal. Using audio rates in this mode leads to a variety of noise, from white noise to a slow glitchy gritty noise. These can be used as audio source or as a modulation source to create texture and grit. And again, you can record and loop joystick movement. Finally, there's the SNOO mode, or South, North, East, West mode. In this mode, the X and Y outputs don't output a minus 5 to plus 5 volt relative to the axis. Instead, a channel only responds to one axis, sending out only positive voltages if you move away from the center point on that axis. Each output corresponds to one direction. Channel 1 and 3 only respond to the Y axis, and channel 2 and 4 to the X axis. This way, if you select channel 1 and 2, or 3 and 4 together, the joystick only sends out positive voltages on a combination of 4 output jacks. These different modes per channel make the Black Joystick 2 very powerful. For example, you can use one channel as a joystick, have a CV recording looped on the second channel, and use a third and fourth channel as a sine wave generator and a noise source. Because the Black Joystick 2 outputs control voltages and we're working within a modular, the possibilities are pretty much endless. But let's have a look at a few examples. You can use the joystick to get control over a synth voice. For example, patch up a basic oscillator, filter, VCA patch, with a sequencer to create a melody and trigger an envelope to the filter. Now, you can send the X and Y outputs of a single channel to control both the cutoff frequency and resonance of that filter. You can vary as much as you like within a patch like this, and control any aspect you want. For example, you can send the X output to the filter and have the Y output open a VCA between the envelope and filter to control the envelope amount. Or, if you set up a patch with two oscillators and a wave folder, have the joystick control the amount of frequency modulation from one oscillator to the other, as well as the folding amount on the wave folder. It's also easy to get hands-on control over other things like percussive sounds. If you use a simple heads module through a VCA, you can have the joystick control both the volume and decay of the heads for example. Remember, you can always record a motion to add some looping dynamics. I often enjoy using a sample player with multiple drum hits and a sequencer to sequence the samples to create drum patterns. Take the joystick and send the X and Y outputs to control the decay and pitch of the samples for example, to create nice hands-on dynamics over the drums. With two channels of the Black Joystick 2 in SNOO mode, it's easy to control a series of VCAs. 
For example, you can feed four different waveforms of a single oscillator to a summing VCA with all the channels closed. Now, if you feed the four outputs of the joystick to those VCAs, you create manual wave morphing between the four shapes. This also works great with an LFO. Here, the four different waveforms of a single LFO are fed into a four channel summing VCA, and the result of that is sent to a filter in a simple synth voice. Now, you can manually morph between the different modulation shapes. Having access to extra sine waves and stepped random voltages is always useful. But having control over the frequency and amplitude and being able to record this movement make it even more useful. For example, you can set up the simple melodic voice we used earlier. But multiply the output of the filter to two VCAs to create a stereo signal. Then you can use the regular sign and inverted sign output of a single channel to control each of those VCAs to create movement in the stereo field. Sine waves at audio rates are great to add texture to a patch. For example, within the simple voice, used in a slightly more percussive way, you can send an audio rate sine wave directly to the linear FM input on the oscillator. Because you can control both the frequency and the amplitude of the signal coming out of the black joystick 2, you don't need another VCA to control the amount of frequency modulation. Adding noise to a synth voice is a classic trick. Just use an oscillator, mixer, filter, VCA setup and add a simple sequencer and envelope to the patch. Now you can use the black joystick too to add noise to the mix. But because you can record some motion, you can easily create a more dynamic patch. Random voltages also work great as modulation source to add texture and grid to your sound. For example, just send some audio rate noise to modulate the filter in a simple voice. It can really lead to nice results if you add some motion to the frequency and amplitude of the noise signal and record that. All of these examples just use a single channel of the black joystick 2. But when you combine multiple channels in different modes, it can really become the center of many interesting patches. For example, you can use the black joystick 2 as both the audio and modulation source in a drone voice. You can send the output of two audio rate sine wave channels to a wave folder. One channel with a static frequency and one with some recorded motion, so its frequency is slowly drifting. Then send the output to a mixer and mix in a third channel from the joystick with some noise. Send the output of the mixer to a filter and use the last channel of the black joystick 2 to control both the filter and wave folder to add manual control over the drone.
Within larger ambient or performance patches, the Black Joystick 2 can be the center control point of the patch. If you have two simple voices going, you can use two channels to control those voices. For example, take the X and Y outputs of both channels to control the filter and envelope amount on both voices. Then, use the third channel to control the volume of some hats and a drum loop by sending the X and Y outputs to two VCAs. And finally, send a few multiplications of a regular and inverted sine wave from a fourth channel to different places in your patch to add some movement. Now, by just cycling through the four channels and using the joystick, you can create entire performances. If you like to support this video series or you want to get access to the illustrations I use in this and many of my other videos, have a look at my Patreon. And if you like to learn more about things like clock dividers or the black octosaurs, have a look at any of these videos. And if you'd like to see more and more of the content from me, smash that like, subscribe and bell button. But that's it for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.